the victim and his friend spot a teenager holding something very familiar. But the youngster isn't staying around for long. They find no potential. We've got him here on the run. Bag thieves down here, in my eyes, there's absolutely no place for them. On patrol, Popo has been notified about a woman picking up bags. Keep an eye on her. Apparently she's been stealing bags. Yeah, she's, um, she's acting semi so I'm, uh, I'm watching her now. Got a good visual. Let's watch her. A member of the public comes forward with more information. No, 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 lady. Yeah, well, she we, just the, she, this one here in the yeah, grey dress. Yeah, with the dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She get a, a bag over there. Yeah. And she just walk around, see the things. Yeah, she seems to be. Um, we're watch, we've been. We just got a radio call oh, from the boys, okay. so we're onto it. We're onto it. Oh, okay. Yeah. The evidence is starting to stack up on this lady, and before I know it, there she is, and she's taken one right before my eyes. Yeah, she's into it. Yeah, it's Central yeah, Harrison. She's just pinched a bag or someone. She's just pinched someone's bag. I'm watching it now. As lifeguards, we get reports of things happening and you sort of only hear about them from second hand, but this one happened right before me. Unable to leave the tower, Jackson calls for a posse. Just here, jump across. He's got the black bag on her. As lifeguards close in, the woman is confronted by the owner of the bag. Uh, I might call the police, eh? I'll tell you something now, we certainly knew it wasn't hers because if that was my bag, I certainly wouldn't be I wouldn't be dropping it or leaving it behind. Hi, Sage, uh, this is Jackson. I'm calling from the Bondi Lifeguard Tower. We've just um, caught a, uh, a bag down here. So we've got two lifeguards with her now. Um, we just thought whether if you guys had anyone around or if you could send someone down. I think we just caught her red-handed. As lifeguards down here at Bondo, we have a zero tolerance policy to bag thieves. It's a despicable act. It ruins people's days, their holidays. The police will come down, they'll have a quick talk to you and if you've got nothing to hide, there'll be no problem. But Well, you're uh, just you gonna get more than an ample opportunity to say that to them, so. It's not up to us, it's up to them. I didn't even take anything out of the bag. Why, why did you take it? I shouldn't have taken it, that's stupid. We're standing there waiting for the police to arrive and, you know, she starts to turn a little bit more on the remorseful side and apologising and getting really emotional. When would you have given it back? Straight away, because I thought it was the wrong thing to do. I am remorseful and I didn't mean to do it. Okay. It's the easiest time to have you been caught. I don't understand why the police is over here that they didn't take anything. But you did take something. You took it off the beach. I haven't taken anything out of the bag. But you removed the bag from the beach. That's someone's property, which is essentially... Which I said I'm sorry for. I know, but that's why the police have to be called. Because you took something from someone. But I still didn't steal it. That's stealing. It's taking off the beach. I didn't take anything out of the bag. But you took the whole bag. Did anyone give you permission to take this bag? Okay. The lady was arrested and taken to Bondi Police Station to be charged. It's the lowest thing to do to someone who's come to the beach for a day, especially, you know, international tourists who've got their passports and all of that stuff, all their money, phones. Take all of that away from them. It's just a scumbag act. That's not standard. Sure. Just minutes later, and lifeguards spot another unhappy beachgoer. I wouldn't see these bag. So our observation skills as lifeguards are tuned into the water, but also the beach as well. And this guy just had that look like he'd lost something. I think he got a, a bit of a surprise that we were ready for him. Hey mate, how are you? Hey, you look like you got your bag stolen. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a couple go in the last sort of couple of hours. Yeah. As the man and his two female companions go looking for their bag, Hoppo suspects there are more victims to come. If one or two bags get stolen on the beach, you know they're going to hit probably up to about five or six in one hit, so I know that there's more to come, so you need to keep an eye out. As Hoppo suspected, the thief is on a roll. Go around the back. I'll come around the back with you, because this is where they've all dumped it. Another one? Wow. The victim and his friend spot a teenager holding something very familiar but the youngster isn't staying around for long. They've got no attention. We've got him here on the run. Back of the pad. 
Next to Bondi Surf Club, lifeguards are holding a teenage boy suspected of stealing a bag. We have asked him, is it our bag? He said, no, it's mine. And when this guy said, I know my bag, and the next moment he started running. Sit down, sit down. Listen. Hello. Yeah, they're saying they, they have to keep me here. Who's this? See? Who is it? My mum. Well, you'll have a chance to explain it to her in a minute, all right, when the police arrive. No, I'm going. No, mate, sit down. Don't, you, you can't touch sit me. Down. Sit down, mate. Sit down. I'm 13 years old. Well, don't care. matter, mate. You have, you've been suspected of stealing. Well, can I go to the no. toilet? In a minute, you can go, mate. But for now, just relax. I can't, my leg is... Just take the weight off it, sit down. No, it's gone. He's, he's been suspected of something. If he's done nothing, if he's done nothing, he'll have his chance to explain and he can walk away. But for now, he's he's been found holding stolen goods. Anything you say or do will be recorded and can we stand up with your hands and hands The boy was held at Bondi Police Station, but due to his age, was later released with a caution. Mate, how are you? Hi, boys, how are you? Um, I'm just wondering, uh, how long will you be waiting here for? Oh, we're, gonna, we're just about to go now. Oh, you're about to go? Yeah. I was about to ask you to mind my bag. Lifeguards are unable to mind people's belongings. Hey, mate, just see, if you see a family or something, yeah. just say hello to the family yeah, and ask no, him. Because last time I was here, all my yeah. got robbed. So. No way. He wanted us to look after his bag while he went for a swim, and I can see why, because Last time, last time we did it, it got stolen. Half but just in, don't, half out, yeah, yeah, jump in, jump in. Right, boys. Yeah. Oh, cool. okay. We explained to the guy and that we couldn't look after his bag. We had to go back to the tower. So Harry's and I didn't really think much of it. Minutes after the man talks about thieves on the beach, reports come in about stolen phones. So a few knocks at the door of people saying they had their bag stolen. Just now? Stolen? Me and Ryan are in the buggy and this young lady came up to us and she said that... Some guy stole something from someone's backpack. Oh, really? They've spotted someone stealing a bag and he's still at North Bondi. Yeah, uh, we've just got a bag thief down at North Bondi currently. A description of the alleged phone thief is vital. He's wearing a grey cap, uh, no shirt, necklace. Tattoo on the left hand. The description, the location. Lifeguards may have already met this suspected thief earlier today. I was about to ask you to mind my bag. When the girl gave me the description, I started piece two and two together and I thought, oh no. His name's really like English. English words. Yeah, copy. Was it? Was that the Irish guy saying that he had his bag stolen before too around that location? Exact same bloke, Harry. It just didn't seem right. Harrison spots the suspect heading north along the promenade. We've got a location, but it's that right. Copy, yeah, we'll just, we'll just get the cops down for it. Down here, Jake, just right against the, uh, the wall near yeah, the grassy knoll. I could see him, and he could see me. I asked, said, look, there's been some bag thieves going on. Could I search your bag? You can look through that if you want. Yeah. And he was more than happy to. My, uh, my bank card, yeah, I yeah, don't actually right. have an idea. Has it ever happened before? No, it hasn't happened before, where it's bag thief wanting to hand a bag over to the lifeguard to mine the stuff that's been stolen off the beach. I'm waiting on my maid to come. But... I'm going through his bag, and it's just his wallet. There's nothing there. I thought, maybe they've got the wrong guy. The, right. that, that's my backpack, bro. There's been no robberies. The longer we're waiting, the, the more I'm semi-convincing myself that he's actually, he's not guilty. Just when it looks like lifeguards have the wrong man, Harrison catches a lucky break. I was just leaning over the fence and I look down and there's an iPhone right underneath me in the kids' pool. One phone in the water may be an accident, but two phones? 
I just go, oh no, he's tucked me that good. I looked over the ledge and there's an iPhone in the water. He's driving away for the cops, he's stolen it and you see me and he's ditched it for sure. As that's all happening, a group of local people were yelling out to us going, Harrison, we saw him throw it. When the boys weren't looking, I uh, just saw something flying above our heads and then we just head down and we saw the phone. Is that another iPhone down there There's we can see? There's another one down there as well. Something got to do with me. Mate, we get people accusing you of stealing stuff and you want us to search your bags and then all of a sudden, exactly where you're standing, there's two iPhones in the water. Something got to do with me, bro. No, we just want to find out, yeah, the, no get worries. to the bottom of the story. No worries, So bro. just wait like five or ten can minutes. Get, hey, 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 hey. Can you put that away? Yeah, or... just move back a bit. So can you put that away? As evidence mounts against him, the man becomes agitated. No, 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 okay, just come up here and I'll head down there now. Bag don't take it well when they do get caught. I really need to get home, bro. I need yeah. to get the Parramatta in the next 30 minutes. There's a real risk the man could become violent. Lifeguards must hold on until police arrive. All I could say is I wanted those police to come here and I wanted nothing to do with it. I just say, you know, you don't have to say or do anything you do not want to. Yeah. You do say that I will record, okay? Yeah. Um, did you steal someone's phone? No, I didn't. No? Okay. This is really frustrating for us. It's because we're here to watch the water and, you know, we're doing detective work and then the public, there's a lot of good people down here. We all really enjoy this place and we don't want to see people like this down here. So don't come back. Satisfied they have enough evidence, police arrest the man. Well, I'll take it back to the station if you who bids Bondi farewell with a one-finger salute. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. The stealing at the beach is just the grubbiest thing. And we, all the lifeguards, everyone hates it. All the locals down here hate it. So if we can try and stamp out as much as possible, we're going to do everything that we can to do it. Today, the lifeguard's CCTV camera has filmed a thief making off with a bag. He's been spotted by members of the public. Oh, hey, um, South Rhino. Here you go. Just behind you, mate, if these people have all caught a bag thief. See up on the prom behind you? Dino is closest, but he can only do so much until police arrive. Just the uniform up there would be good. I'll call the police. I'm from Bondi Lifeguards. My name's Chris. Um, just had a guy steal a bag off the beach and I just noticed that all the public got involved and they've all grabbed him and I've got a lifeguard there now. The man has been caught red-handed and an arrest looks imminent until the thief drops the bag. Oh, he's off again. They're chasing him up down to South Bondi. Um, they're going up towards the roundabout. Joel. A suspected bag thief runs into traffic on Bondi's busy beachfront. Started to try to jump in front of a car, kind of just dodged a few cars. I said, mate, you're not, you're not losing me. And he's like, oh, and I go, just give up. As luck would have it, one of Maxie's mates happens to be riding past on a motorbike. Yes, but I've got him detained. Um, Lifeguards can detain a person suspected of an offence using a citizen's arrest. Do you legally detain someone as a civilian? Yes, you can. Citizen's arrest. What, what part of the law? I'm holding you down. If you don't know what part of the law it is... Calm down. No! Calm down. You're breaching the laws of the land. Off-duty lifeguard Jake also happens to be passing by. How are you going, guys? Yeah, not too bad. I just had a report that when he, he took some stuff, some bags off the beach, people yeah. saw him, chase him up to the promenade. The man, a known drug addict, has a slippery explanation for police. OK, I was on the beach. I was a little drunk. Yep. At the time, I didn't know where I was. I left my bag on the beach, picked up the bag, looked similar to mine, I think, that may have happened. Okay. I didn't know where I was no more. People started screaming at me and chasing me. I didn't know where I was. Police arrested the man, but no one comes forward to claim the stolen bag. The thief was let off with a caution. 
the turn from the bag thief issue for him not having the bag to taking off, but I was actually more worried about his well-being because, you know, it looked like he was <laughs> trying to jump in front of a car. Lifeguards will keep an eye out for the man next time he tries his luck at Bondi. Harry, we had a complaint from a guy that keeps checking people's bags and things. And we saw what he was doing, walking around bags, and then within another 20 seconds, he'd picked a bag up. Lifeguards can't jump to any conclusions, so Corey makes a polite approach. How are you, mate? All good? I um, just had someone just sort of complaining that you've been stalking people's bags. Well, I just got it. Is that your bag? Yeah. yeah. I just got it. I just, just want to just wanna make sure just because someone oh, brought, yeah, it, brought it to our attention, that's all. Oh, yeah. I probably just walked to the beach and yeah, that's it. So two towels. Mate's up there. Is, have you got ID in the bag? Or? No, it's in the towel. Okay. You could just see like the way he was answering and he was starting to get a little bit hesitant with, with his answers and I just knew too well that yeah. he's just straight up lying. So where's your car keys? He's got it. He's, he drove it. You said it was your car? No, said it was we, your, drove, we drove it. said it was your Commodore. He drove. Oh, oh, is it? We've got a Commodore. We've got a, a bag thief down he's been stealing a lot of bags. He's just been picking up everyone's stuff on the beach. I'll give you a mate. Hold this. The man drops the bag and says he will come back with his friend. Amateur detectives Corey and Jethro aren't falling for the trick. Are we letting him go? Because he's out of here, mate. He's, we, we, we've ID'd him. He's, one of the lifeguards is chasing him now up, up, up onto Campbell Parade. And then all of a sudden he just turned, you know, and he started bolting. I was like, right. And he's turned on me like as if he was going to go, you know, and I was like, mate, you can run as far as you want, as long as you want. I said, but I'll run you down, mate. I'll just keep running behind you. Sure enough, the thief, overweight and unfit, runs out of stamina. And he's like, you're harassing me. I was like, mate, I'm just walking with you. Local undercover police arrive on the scene. Oh, thank you. Oh, stop. Yeah, sit down. Oh, let's have a seat. You're from the police, mate. I'm Bondi Beach, OK? This point in time, you're under arrest for a stealing. OK? Understand that? Yeah. Mate, that guy's face was priceless. He was just like, just sat there and was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> to secure a conviction, police collect evidence. Sweet, good job. Thanks, mate. Right. Thanks, mate. We'll let you know the result in a couple of weeks. One hour later, a man approaches the tower, shirtless and unable to locate his belongings. Oh. Missing a bag. Came out of surf and went to look for it and went missing. I have family thongs, so. His description matches the bag stolen an hour earlier. We won't let him get away. We had yeah. him down here, so. No. No, whatever we could do to stop him. It's his buddy. Jake got all of his belongings back. The thief got a conviction and a fine. In the tower, more victims of Bondi's bag thieves. My mate got out and then he quickly comes back and says, Oh, our bags are gone. H spots a teenager wearing unusual clothing for a day at the beach. No one's going to walk around like that, are they? He drifts backwards and forwards on the sand. He heads off the beach with a bag, only to be stopped by Dino and Harry's. The police come and I want to hurry to that way. So you're sure it's your bag? No, no, it's my mate. It's your mate's bag. My stop there gets really good. Okay. What's your friend's name? Johnny. Johnny? Yeah. Yeah. That's my idea right there. Yeah. Hoppo asks some hard questions. Who are you on the phone to? My mate. Nothing matches up though. The name on the bag's not that your mate. No, they're just for now. You just give me a black bag. Yeah. No, absolutely nothing missing the bag. So you picked the wrong bag up? Yeah. That's what I told you. It's not my bag. He told me it's a black bag. Yeah. I'm telling the same thing that I, I told you earlier. That's my idea right here, right here. He's going to hold anything until yeah. police come. Then another victim comes to the tower. Hey, this guy's had his bag stolen. Come, come in. Is this your bag? So this your bag? Yeah. So yes, that's the right bag, mate. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I said. I said I wasn't sure what was the right bag. So right. Sure. Oh, really? If you want to hang, police are coming just so you can ID that. Okay, yeah. It's your bag that got yeah. taken. Check in it. I don't know if yeah, you're well, No, everything's in there. I took all the important stuff out. But... Yeah. Let's get to get it back. 
Lifeguards have no power of arrest. Police soon back up. Got some of it on camera. Yeah. And yeah, I've cracked him. No. Are you guys out safely? Yeah. What's your name, mate? Yeah, I'm here. I'm walking down. Yeah, it doesn't rain. It pours at this joint. Sort of really pisses me off that we've got to deal with this. Shit, but it's good to catch. Good to catch them. Hopefully deter them. Hey, my name's Carson Brown from uh, Waverley Police Station. Um, at this point, you're under arrest for stealing the bag on the beach. Yeah, I know, but I told you. Just, just wait the next beach. Yeah, you don't have to say I'll do anything if you don't want to. Do you understand that? Yeah. All right, just pop up for me. Yeah. Stand up, I'm just going to give you a quick search, all right? Turn me in the face that way. The boy is 16. A search reveals more suspect property. While the bag owner goes to make a statement, the alleged bag thief is on his way to be charged.